Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Here in Siesta Key at Captain Kurt's Crab and Oyster Bar. Uh, we looked it up, it's got pretty good recommendations and they claim to have the best clam chowder, not just in Siesta Key, but in the world. Okay, so of course we, you know, we're gonna get some other seafood here, but I'm definitely gonna get the chowder. And while I'm thinking of it, I need everybody to go ahead and subscribe, hit that subscribe button uh, we need to get a little more exposure and if you if you want to help support uh, my mission of helping out mom and pop restaurants and supporting local businesses go ahead and hit that subscribe button got the kids over here patiently waiting so let's go on in and see what we can get in captain kurtz all right before we get started i'm gonna go ahead and take a little stroll around the place you see here got the cool bar uh, pretty big main dining room and they also have a lot of outdoor seating which I'm going to show you right now uh, and also they have uh, a tiki bar with restaurant with uh, kind of a limited menu compared to what they have at Captain Kurtz but this is also owned by Captain Kurtz so this kind of looks like a lively place over there. All right, I'm gonna show you the rest of Captain Kurtz now. Come around this little front patio. Nice little waiting area. Anyway, they got a really cool outdoor bar here. And some vast outdoor seating which winds around. Really cool uh, couch here. Big screen TV. And goes on back further into a huge dining room back here. So this is a very large place great atmosphere big tiki hut and doesn't get any better than the atmosphere here all right so to start off we got a couple appetizers we got the boom boom shrimp which is their fresh gulf shrimp tossed in their house boom boom sauce and we got the gator tail gator bites so i'm gonna start off with the boom boom shrimp. And I don't know what kind of sauce that is, but I'll let you know. That's ranch. And the boom boom sauce, let me get it without the ranch. It's like a spicy sweet sauce. Just hit me in the back of the throat. Got a little kick to it. All right. gator tail. Look at that. That looks fresh with some ranch. What I like about gator is it's got a real chewy texture and it's got their house breading which is a salt and pepper breading. It's light complements the gator meat real good it doesn't you know the, 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 the breading doesn't overpower it or too much breading very good recommend both of these appetizers all right so here is the world's greatest clam chowder i see some potatoes and clams in there A 
It's pretty tasty. It's got a lot of clams in there, small chopped up. So you're getting a lot of clams in each bite. And they have their own house hot sauces here. Garlic pepper and cayenne pepper. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and jazz this up with a little cayenne pepper sauce. With the oyster crackers. Mm. That cayenne pepper sauce really sets it off. All right, be back just in a second. Show you another item. All right, so I'm gonna try a bite of Melissa's. She got the file fish and she got it grilled, which this is the first time I've ever heard of foul fish, but it's pretty popular down here. I've seen it in other restaurants. When we went to that place the other night, uh, Siesta Key Oyster Bar, which by the way, we're going back to Siesta Key Oyster Bar and it was so good. I want to do a review there because they have dollar oysters from three to six. So I got to cash in again on that. All right, let's try this foul fish. Uh, it said if you like cod or grouper, that you would like this because it's not fishy and it's a light tasting fish. So let's give it a shot. That's correct. Very light and tasty. All right, be right back. And I'm gonna show you what I got for my entree. All right, back to the clam chowder. As you see, it's got little chunks of that clam in every bite. I don't know about best in the world, but I'm gonna go as far to say it's the best I've ever had. Now I'm not the authority on clam chowder. I've had it a few times, a few different places, but it's definitely the best in my subjective opinion. All right, so now moving along, you gotta take the top off and take that. All right, good. Now. You would think going to South Florida, seafood everywhere, that I would be getting a seafood sandwich of some sort. And I saw this come out on uh, the tray to somebody else's table. And I asked the server what it was and he said it was pork tenderloin. And uh, on the menu it says it's the Indiana pork tenderloin. I guess they model it like after the Edinburgh diner where you get that big, huge, pounded out pork tenderloins. But I'm gonna go ahead, and actually it's uh, pretty economical. You get this for $14, comes with fries. So it's actually the most economic thing on the menu. So here we go. Mm. You notice the double snapping turtle patented move. That's very tasty. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna get this down or not, but I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to get it down somehow. All right, be back in just a minute and we're gonna get uh, some final thoughts, more information here. All right, back to the pork tenderloin. I'm making my way through it, but I forgot to explain. Pork tenderloin, they take the pork and they pound it out thin and then they bread it. So it's not real thick, it's thin, but it's like that big around. So you're getting a nice size sandwich. Very tasty. And I'll be honest with you, this is the first pork tenderloin sandwich I've ever had. And I'm gonna be coming your way up there in Edinburgh. Just mark that down because they've got a pork tenderloin sandwich up there. It's that bear round. All right, be back in a minute. Closing thoughts. So just to leave no questions here, whether or not I finished my food. There you go. Plus I had half of Melissa's foul fish sandwich. All right, everything was great. Uh, I didn't show the kids meals but they actually came on top of a Frisbee. She had the popcorn shrimp, she had cheeseburger, everything was great. All my stuff was great, and I think it was pretty good value. 
considering we had two appetizers, we all had entrees, and it was $89 with including tax and everything. So I think that was a great value. Uh, I'll definitely come back here if I'm back in Siesta Key, which I'm going to try and talk Melissa into coming back next year. Uh, so anyway, uh, clam chowder, best I ever had, as I said. Come here, spend some time, go next door to the, the Captain Kurtz Tiki Bar restaurant. And as I said, stay tuned and look for my review back at the Siesta Key Oyster Bar because I'm going to be doing that tomorrow night. So be looking for that on YouTube also. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this Captain Kurtz Crab and Oyster Bar. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.